I think I see one over there. I do see one over there. I just want to catch one off the bed to say I did it. I mean, seriously. It's like they're just super lethargic up there. Well, I'm sure that front ain't helping nothing. I well, spooked him that time like an idiot. And they're in like the worst places too. The only explanation I have is that the females haven't laid any eggs up there because otherwise them little males like this would be easy to catch. Be a lot easier if I could cast better. I might have got a little rise out of him that time. I thought it was. That's not a big one, but. <laughs> Just doing nothing, and then all of a sudden, swam up there and just turned over on it. Beautiful male. I'm gonna turn him back. And go back over there and do his thing. That's cool. I don't know what it is about catching them off the bed, but it's fun. It's a battle of wits. You know, I spotted that that fish back real close to the bank, which the water's dropping pretty quick, so some of these fish are getting shallow, but you should be able to see that bright bed back there. And that fish hung around, but it wasn't acting real real aggressive but if they hang around you can usually generally do something to get them to bite and I just kept trying to get a little more aggressive and I finally got an opportunity a couple times in a row to bump the fish now I'm not trying to snag the fish I'm trying to just bump him with the front end of this you know Texas rig weedless weight and what that'll do is it speeds the process up a little bit aggravates them a little more I did that twice got it back in there um, a couple times after that and it was just sitting there and I he swam out, come back, and just all of a sudden turned over and got it. So that's why you always got to be paying attention because in my mind, that fish wasn't going to bite for another three or four minutes. Um, just the way he acted, he just swam up there and got it. So each fish is different, but they're all fun.